My name is Jeffrey Gann, and I teach a digital awareness training course to oil and gas professionals. Recently, while instructing a couple of companies, they both commented that the, in the way I was teaching this training course and the technology I was using to get the ideas across uh, could be directly extended to sales and the sales experience. So I thought I would just share with you how the digital training course works and by extension, how these ideas and lessons could translate directly uh, to a sales and selling experience. So uh, this uh, in, in session, in fact, is being recorded entirely on Zoom. So it's uh, mimicking exactly the experience you would have if you were teaching a training course uh, on uh, or, or delivering a sales experience uh, to a, a customer in the same way that I use Zoom to teach the training course itself. So here I am, the sales professional. I'm in my, my lovely home office. Uh, I have uh, artfully arranged some, some beautiful photos on the background, or maybe it's a bookshelf, a bookcase. And, uh, and I'm now engaging with you as the customer in our sales conversation. And I now wanna show you some slide material. So how do we do that in Zoom? You go and use screen share. But here's the problem with screen share. The minute you click screen share, uh, the, the presenter disappears from the screen. And now it's just a voice talking in the background. Uh, this is problematic for me because uh, I uh, have all kinds of challenges here. I can't read the room. I don't know whether people are really paying attention. Uh, some attendees are simply going to zone out because they're reading these slides. And if I wanted to change up the content and do something really creative, I couldn't. I'm kind of stuck in this uh, slide share mode. Uh, I, I, some of my content is going to be quite complicated even to present, particularly in oil and gas, because the, the material is complicated itself and it's very, very data rich. Here's an example, uh, a slide with uh, multiple columns, multiple colors, lots of labels, and, and it's very, very challenging to present if you're not standing in the room uh, with, your, with your pointer or, or just, uh, uh, gesturing to the screen. Uh, here's another example of, a, of a, a slide that is hard to explain to make sure you, you keep people on track is, uh, is a list of uh, bullet messages. What if it could be different? What if it could be the way um, we teach uh, the uh, content in our digital training uh, program? In the digital training courses, what we do is uh, the presenter never leaves the room and we never leave the screen. Uh, and so what I've done here is put my camera image on top of my PowerPoint slides in a Zoom meeting. This is uh, not available in Zoom, but as you can see, it's quite effective. The camera is very crisp. My image is crisp and the, uh, the, the visual experience is, is very, very robust. So let's have a look at what some of these, the problems we, but you can see right away, problem with one of the slides. In this case, the, the content, I'm overwriting, I'm, I'm blocking the content, so I'm kind of in the way. What, 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 what needs to happen here is I need, to, I need to move my image out of the way, something like this. Now, when I do that and I bring up my slide content, I can now, I have the slide content appearing on the screen and I'm appropriately sized for the conversation to happen. Sales experiences in my view are ready for a transformation because the technology on how to do things like present uh, uh, creatively using tools like Zoom uh, are here and sales professionals need to be equipped to take full advantage of them. Uh, here's, uh, here's what needs to happen. We need to do a complete um, overhaul of the sales material. The, the, as I showed you, the slides that I'm using it don't work if you want to have the presenter on the screen the whole time that the slides are unfolding. To do that, they, they, we have to invest in better gear for the sales professionals so that they can present this material more effectively. Third, the sales team needs to be trained because if you, if you don't train the teams on how this technology works and how to adjust the sales experience, then uh, it, will, it will fail. And then finally, and I really get into this in, in a kind of a longer and deeper discussion, but how could you fundamentally rethink the sales experience using these, these new technologies? For example, if I'm in my training course teaching digital awareness, look how these slides appear. I don't leave the screen. I page through the content in a careful and constructive way, educating the, uh, the, the students in this instance on the definition of digital. I reveal the data as, I, as it's important for it to be revealed. And uh, I never leave the screen. Let's go and look at that really complicated um, slide earlier with all the data on it. it. Looks like this. I'm still kind of blocking the slide here, but what if I were able to move myself somewhere else on the screen, like up here into the corner? Now I'm still engaged and intimate with my my audience, and I can walk them through the content in a much more appropriate fashion. So, what does it take to pull this off? And uh, so, to pull it off. 
um, requires a, 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 whole, a different set of um, uh, capabilities that we need to put into place for our sales professionals. First and foremost is a rethink of the content because the content is getting in the way. Just presenting the same content forces us to go to screen share, which takes us away from our bonding experience. And so the content needs to be reframed so that uh, the presenter doesn't actually leave the meeting. Next is to, for that to work, you need better lighting and a green screen because uh, for, for this to work, you need to be able to separate the camera feeds, uh, you need a green screen to be able to do that. Commonly done, Green screens cost $100. It's, it's, it's peanuts to kind of set something like this up. Uh, third is you need a cameras and switcher. The camera that comes with your standard Road Warrior laptop isn't good enough. Not high definition. It's mounted in the wrong spot. And, and it doesn't react well to changes in light conditions. And it, and it focuses automatically, which may or may not be desirable, depending on what the situation, whether your sales professional uh, is when they're doing their presentation. So cameras and, and, um, and switcher technology. The switcher technology is what lets you do these things like uh, superimpose one image on top of another. And then last but not least, you need a more robust computer. The, the laptop, standard laptop issue for a road warrior from the, uh, uh, dating back to the pre-pandemic is simply not robust enough for this video processing world. Now, let me walk you through what these components look like. And uh, to do that, I'm going to uh, bring up my um, camera, um, and to do that, I'm going to just use my cell phone here, and I'll show you how this uh, how this works. Watch this. Just press the button, and poof, there's my camera. Try doing this with Zoom. It's just, it's just not possible. Let me put my image back up on the screen, and let me move my image out of the way here so that it's um, it's uh, not not a distraction. Let me show you what's on on my desktop here. In fact, I'll pop myself up to the corner here just to be to make it even easier. On my desktop, this is the camera switcher technology. It's from a company called Blackmagic Design. And uh, the product itself is called the ATEM Mini. And uh, what this does is it gives you mechanical um, camera switching capability. Now, why is that important? Because on Zoom, if you want to change your camera angle, you have to go to the drop down menu to change your video feed. And then that takes a second or two as the camera switches. Whereas in this case, with the switcher mechanical, you just press a button and you can change the camera image instantly. So camera switching technology, you can see plugged into it, lots and lots of wires and uh, chief among those, if you follow them up is to the camera and there's camera number one. As you can see, it's a Lumix DSLR. I've set it to autofocus mode. So as I kind of lean in and go back and forth, the camera constantly maintains a perspective on me. I also actually have a second camera that's up here. There's camera number two, hello camera number two. And um, I use camera number one and camera number two in tandem when I wanted to, to change uh, perspective uh, in the training course. Because in the, in, if you think about it in a sales experience, if you're in a, in a, in a meeting room, uh, you're going to move around the room. And the, the people you're presenting to are going to get a different perspective. That variety is missing when you're just doing a screen share call and uh, you've lost the entire visual experience. So you replace it with multiple cameras. So cameras. And of course, the camera switcher. Third piece of gear that I use is this product called a Stream Deck. And the Stream Deck um, has uh, the ability to talk to the ATEM and you can then use uh, the buttons on the Stream Deck to, to manipulate or manage the uh, camera feeds. So for instance, here, uh, I've called this button Art Scene. So if I press this button, I go back to my office instantly. Now I don't wanna be in my office. I wanna be back uh, on my uh, camera feed. So I'm over here now on, on the camera so you can see how this works. What else could you do with this? Well, how about uh, the ability to draw? And uh, let me show you, it just uh, I'll quickly switch over to my um, uh, office, home office while I set up the uh, iPad. And I'll just show you how easy this is for, uh, to do. So iPad was on my desk and I used the uh, iPad pencil uh, here. Here's the iPad now. I'll put my camera image back on so that you can see what I, I look like. And let's get out of the way uh, so that uh, it's not blocking uh, the screen. So here on my iPad, using my, my uh, pencil, I'm going to, um, let me zoom in, and you can see on my desk, uh, there's the A10 Mini right there. I also have a GoPro because I find that, uh, you know, when I'm doing some sort of wandering around the house or other video work, uh, having a, a nice quality, high quality mobile camera can be quite handy. Uh, there's the uh, Stream Deck uh, here, as you can see. 
And uh, of course, uh, also I use the monitor and um, there's the, the good, the good uh, quality camera. Now imagine uh, having a setup like this where you can now, if you wanted, uh, you can uh, take a, 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 an engagement with the customer where you pull up a drawing pad and you start to illustrate your point, uh, draw circles, uh, uh, do some shading uh, so that um, uh, uh, your image or, or whatever picture you're trying to communicate uh, comes to life. None of this is presently possible uh, just using Zoom and a screen share. And yet it's all well within grasp uh, just by uh, using these, these, these tools and technologies that are readily available. Now, one thing I didn't talk about was uh, the uh, lighting. And so in a, in a session, uh, a setting like this, we need very, very good quality lighting and a green screen. Uh, so let me show you what that looks like. So here's my, my phone camera back online. And uh, in behind me is my green screen. There it is. And it's just a, a large sheet of paper. I've happened to have uh, uh, picked up three different sheets of paper, a blue, a white, and a green. Uh, but you know, for the most part, uh, uh, a, a green screen will be more than sufficient. And, uh, and then there's a, a good quality light. So I have a couple of, um, of, of what are called box lights uh, that I use for, um, uh, to, to cr create the lighting that I need uh, in the session. Let me get myself out of the way here so you can see what I mean. There's the box lights there, one and two. I also have uh, lights mounted on the ceiling, but I don't use these very much because of the, uh, I find the, the, the light from these box lights, is, box lights is more than good enough. And uh, that uh, creates the ability or gives the ability for me to do things like um, go, go to my uh, home office uh, back here. I also can change the background. So if I want to be in my kitchen for a, a, a kind of a kitchen ketchup or coffee ketchup, I can do that. These technologies are all well within reach. They're not expensive. I've set them up to do training and I'm not a professional in videography or, or any of these, um, the, these, these uh, uh, television uh, studio um, skills. So they're well within reach of anyone. And uh, so think about that. How could you transform your sales experience with these new tools? Uh, all readily within reach. If you want to learn more, uh, just uh, 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 click on um, uh, one of the links below in this, in this video note and uh, email me or call me and, and I can talk you through how I've set it all up. That's it. Bye for now.